Hello, this is the Lethargic Sloth. This is my 100th video, so I wanted to do a, something a little special today. 100 subs, 100 video special. Uh, I'd first like to start out by saying that I created a Facebook group in order to try the sub for sub. I want to get people who are willing to work as permanent subscribers for small channels to help each other out. So the link is right here, facebook.com slash groups slash the lethargic sloth YouTube sub for sub slash. My goal is to get people here and uh, help each other grow for smaller channels. So if you're interested, please subscribe to my channel and join this group and we'll try to help each other out. So without further ado, today's video topic is going to be five ways to help gain a hundred subscriptions quickly. So let's get started. Number five, sub for sub. This is kind of an infamous one. Um, check out this little screenshot here. I've been making videos since December 3rd, 2016. So uh, I had subscribers before this time, probably around 50, I can't remember. Uh, but I've gained 155 subs that I still have, uh, 223 overall. But look at that little number there, 68 subs lost. People can be assholes. So sub for sub, while it's nice in theory, you can still have people bail on you the moment that you sub to their channel. I've had people say, and I don't even know if they were subscribed to me to begin with, sub to me or I'll unsub you. Mostly little kids and uh, just rude people. The world's full of them, so uh, sub for sub is not always the best option. It's just another possibility out there, so, but it's not the most recommended way for building a following of people that are going to consistently watch your videos, share your videos, but it's nice to have that ground number. I was happy to get 100 subs and be stable there. I'm now at 197, so I want to stop looking towards sub, to sub for sub and start looking towards building the channel through people that are actually interested in what I'm producing. So number four, reach out to people you know. Friends, family, coworkers, any of this networking. Create social media pages. Maybe you can create a Twitter account for your page. Or if you like photography, such as I do, a Flickr page and put some of your photographs there and then you can put links to your videos below those or if you use a photo from Flickr make sure to give your proper attribution for your photo uh, you can send a link to your video and say oh I used your photo in this video anybody that's interested in seeing this photo in this video come check it out here also get out on YouTube and comment on other people's videos for example, my second most popular video, the Palace Cat, uh, it's a photo video. Uh, you could go to another video that has Palace Cats and be like, I love Palace Cats, they're so funny looking, I actually made a video like that. The point is, you don't go into somebody else's video and drop your link and you make a scene like, oh, me, me, me. But if you can add something like, I love your content, I love your video, I made one because I like them too. Um, you know, that takes away a little bit from uh, me, 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 and you're just maybe, maybe you'll get a couple views here and there. Who knows? It's worth a shot, and you're not being overly aggressive or rude. Number three, be consistent. Set an upload schedule. YouTube is a ton of work. A lot of people use it as a part-time job or a full-time job. Me, I'm just started. I, I have a full-time job and so I try to make videos when I have time. Uh, it's time constraining sometimes. Uh, I'm actually trying to become a teacher 
in going to school as I am making videos and working full time. So sometimes it's hard to make a schedule, but if you want subscribers who are interested in you, you need to be consistent. Number two, do what you're passionate about, but also learn your audience. I'm going to quote a great movie here, Joe Dirt. Quote, it's not what you like, it's the consumer. So it's good to learn your audience and what they like. For instance, I do like to make photo videos. And learning from talking to people, seven seconds is way too long to flash a photo on the screen. If I'm going to do a 10-minute photo video, it's a lot better to have a lot more photos and condense them to three, four seconds a piece rather than seven seconds per photo and have a, you know, 30-minute disaster. It just doesn't work. Nobody can sit there looking at photos and set to music for 30 minutes. It's a humongous waste of time. <laughs> so, um, yes, learn and adapt to your audience. What they're, you know, study what they're watching, what they're paying attention to. Do what you love. Do topics that you truly enjoy, but if there's something that you notice they take a liking to, you know, you can you can do what you like, but also do things to back and forth with you. Keep your audience engaged and participating in your videos and comments. And number one tip that I can think of is the world is an enormous place. Branch out. With the cat diagram here, it's got the word cat in many different languages. Now why is this? I wanted to emphasize that you can go on places like Facebook, you can go to social media networks, and again, I, I, I can only use myself as, as an example, but you can go and see what, for instance, cats, if I wanted to share my videos with cat lovers, I can go, cats are awesome, cats are cool, and search those for groups, you know, with thousands and thousands of people. You can also go and, you know, use the Spanish word for cat, gatos, and go and post on a group centered in Honduras or Guatemala or Colombia, uh, places like that. Uh, I personally am also a member on VK or VContact, the Russian Facebook, as my girlfriend is from Ukraine and uh, she helps me share videos. She's on, on the VK too and we share the videos on there as well. So uh, you never know what will be a great source of traffic, bringing traffic to you and your channel. So. It's important that you branch out and you take chances because you never know where your potential followers or subscribers can can come from. They can be from anywhere. So, Okay, these were five ways to help you gain a hundred subscribers quickly. I hope some of these methods helped. Maybe I gave you an idea or two. Again, please like, subscribe, or even comment. I will gladly subscribe to your channel if you write that you subbed below. I'm active and I'm all for helping small channels grow. So I wish you the best of luck in growing your channel and a successful YouTube career. Thank you again. Please share. Here are some of my upcoming videos.